and checkers and pleasers alike. Welcome to our show, Checkpoint, the show where we discuss and discern the current events of our most recent episode of Check, Please. And today we are discussing Check, Please, episode 49. And I would love to welcome our members today. I'm Kenny, your fortunate host, uh, fully as my co-host, Flesh Hungry for Fleshed Out Answers. I'm fleshed, fleshed out. out for Hungry Answers, yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, Zeno, our Swamp Witch Swarmonger. Oh my god, I'm here too. Uh, Beardy, our beloved Daddy DM. What? And Scurry, our rock hard holy man. I feel like I haven't gotten to say that a lot lately, so I'm really happy I get to today. I still think we should yeah. put a, a tombstone over here for Grem. A tombstone oh. in yeah. the box instead yeah. of the Check Please mm-hmm. logo. Oh, bless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Grem. And yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, RSVP you have Grimm. to work now. <laughs> <laughs> No. But I can't believe we've done this. <laughs> let's get straight into discussing last night's episode. So, oh, the music cue is great for that. Um, last night, the party leaves the Druid Circle and goes straight to Heart and Shin to meet up with the Lightning Blades at the Elegant Olive. And although they weren't there right away, Eventually, we were able to see them again with Dunkle Mir burning some bitches of some great undead skeletons as the Emperor has not given up on this fucking place for some reason. Um, Which I was really surprised to see all of the Lightning Blades. I knew that we were seeing Jiro, obviously, and I, I for some reason, had thought, well, okay, Jiro's going to split off and just, you know, visit us by himself. We'll see him and we'll get going. I did not anticipate seeing the rest of the Lightning Blades again so soon. But was, so soon, it's been 24 it. episodes. It's so cool, right? Um, it's really nice seeing them. I know we're mostly just having Jiro with the party right now, but it was still really cool seeing them. I really liked Donovan when we met him. I thought he was a really nice, cool, interesting guy, even if we didn't actually get to talk to him that much. I mean, my my dislike is for Timmet and Dunkelmere, but that's about it. Like, everyone else was pretty cool. Why don't you like Timmet and Dunkelmere? What's wrong with them? Um, well, one, Timmet um, is too much for me. Too much itis. It, it's exhausting being around people who are like that, in my opinion. <laughs> um, Fair enough. And Dunkelmere is straight up crazy, and I fear him. Like Dunkelmere. Yeah, him. Yeah, mm. like as a person. I'm like, this is a person who is unhinged and would do a thing just because it feels like. And I okay. ain't about that shit. That's fair. I'm I'm now, of course, shameless shout out for the wiki. I'm now going through the wiki very, very quickly to try and remember who it is who was designed to take down Riz if needs be. That was Jiro. That was Jiro, okay. Yep, I and brought my very friends. own Bane. Yes. With us. <laughs> wow. That's, that's I, now I want to see this fight. It's really painful. I mean, <laughs> notably, his other friends aren't with him, so yeah, we're less likely. I'm I'm less likely to get fucked over completely. I bet if I were to run it properly, I could have Jiro kill the entire party. I think you could, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like the fact that he has greater invisibility is pretty stupid. So. He's got the he's got the shadow clones. He's got the greater invisibility. He's got the nine sneak attacks per round. It's it's Fireball real Jutsu. dumb. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's real dumb. <laughs> so. I feel like he would have to wow. kill Vera instantly then, because I could just turn into a swarm. Well, that's what you do. You take out the most. That's what you do. You take out the most powerful member of the of the, uh, of the group. Archie. First. Archie. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just like Archie. <laughs> Wow, I was trying to give a compliment, but okay. I don't accept compliments, Screwy. Well, weird stuff is or happening happiness. with Archie, but we'll we'll get to that a little bit and later Scurry on. Screwy is in fact turning into a robot too, apparently. Oh, yeah, uh, it's true. <laughs> Screwy has been going to replace slide. Screwy. What the fuck? Yeah. The, Why was I programmed to feel pain? This meeting. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Reese's and PCs, whatever's happening to but, your system, my dude. There was I, one I don't second know. where Screwy was just like normal, and then. A split second of him dabbing, and then a split second of him just normal again. And it was like, did I have a stroke? Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, see, yeah, that, it, it's a it, it's a twitch now. See, that's what happens. We got to see the lightning blades again, anyway, and then we got to uh, we got to almost hear some very uh, moving 
final words exchanged between <laughs> Donovan and Jiro if as they part, possibly for the last time. If someone had me eavesdropping. It was a really powerful, emotional moment mm -hmm. oh, that we'll never know what was said. <laughs> so angry. I missed it. I feel like it was important information too. I wanted it so badly. It could have been the difference between life and death for Jiro, in fact. This might have been information that we could have used to save his life. Down because, there. like... Are we making you feel badly enough now? <laughs> no. No. We'll get Fuck there. Oh, lay, it on, lay it on thicker then. Kenny. Well, no. I, I don't really... I'm just very worried because I'm like, does Donovan know that Jiro's gonna fucking probably kill himself if the order of, like, whatever Kintao is doesn't kill him? Oh, like, shit. Does Donovan yeah. not know? Does he know? Because he, like, literally says, I'm going to miss that guy. And I took it originally as, oh, yeah, you're not going to see him for a while. But he might have just accepted, oh, you're going to die now. And I I don't know. And I don't get to know. And I'm mad about it. Well, it's just occurred to me, what if we come back without him and Donovan was expecting to see him again and Donovan blames us oh, for the death of his buddy. Who we're coming back to the lightning blazer? <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of hoping. If we don't have Jiro with us, I hope we never run into them again because they might not take Notably, too kindly. Notably, they're a but... lot easier to take if Jiro's not. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> we're we're just giving you shit, Scurry. It's okay. I'm sorry. <sighs> you are. Sorry. sorry. Yes. I can't actually <laughs> wow. tell if Scurry's been listening or not. What a delay. No, I have been. I just, I, I it's, it's okay. No, I. I, I'm accepting this now, so it's... Love. Yeah, I know these things about myself. Some... I, I, I don't... I never mean to be the way I am. <laughs> I'm trying to do better. I want to do better. It Just... Would... Sometimes. It wouldn't be the game it is without you, though. You bring such joy into it. It's true. I mean, Riz has specifically said, like, the group needs Petravian. I heard that. I heard that um, in last week's, and that was very nice. I liked hearing that. It, it, it actually... Uh, so oh my God. You are a robot was, AF, my dude. Uh, any, no, I was listening to Checkpoint on the way back. Uh, <laughs> I had you guys... <laughs> Wow, I'm watching. Maybe I should turn off the stream. Maybe that should. Maybe that'll help. I don't help. know what's happening. What other processes you're doing? Um, turn it <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, iTunes is open. Eesh. Is that really yeah. gonna eat all your bandwidth? Close I mean, all Apple, your tabs. Um, <laughs> it could. That's fantastic. Anyway. Anyway, no. I was listening to. Uh, I was listening to Checkpoint as, live uh, as we were driving back from in-laws last week. And I, when Riz was saying the, the, those really nice things, well, when you were saying those really nice things, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> they like me. And it was very nice, and I appreciate that. <sighs> I do be like that sometimes. But no, I, I, I think Petravian brings a joy to the party that's completely necessary. Um, especially now because Archie seems off. But we'll get to that. I'm we'll scared. get to that. Um, oh but the next thing that happened is that we got to see the twins again by dropping Yay. off the soul sucky device with Karis. And they were very excited mm -hmm. to see a fucking ninja. That which, made me happy. I always love seeing the twins. It's a ninja. <laughs> it's a ninja. I, I like to imagine that the during the entire thing, they were just, like, walking next to him and staring at him like kids do Bless. because mm -hmm. they're creepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just won't leave things alone. And yet you play them so beautifully. Well, that's you don't because like I that. don't like, like kids. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. That's that's the thing. You don't like kids particularly, but you play these two kids to be so damn adorable. Maybe it's... it's be well, I mean, I don't think they're being it, adorable. <laughs> how... Okay. Are you playing them the exact way that would annoy you the most? Probably. Interesting. Like, 
I find them incredibly endearing. I don't have those chemicals in my brain that makes me like look at a kid and says like, "Aw." Like, I get you. I get angry almost. I'm just like, "Please mm, leave mm, me alone. Mm. I don't need you." You don't need me. I don't know how to talk to you because I don't know what your parents' is like worldviews are because it'll I'll, you'll ask me a question and I'll be uncomfortable and not able to answer because I don't know what your parents want you to know because everyone's weird. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's their own. That's that's their parents hang up. Let you do you. Look, I'm not having a weird Karen come yeah. after me because I told her kid why the sky is fucking blue because of science. <laughs> yeah, most kids don't even know what their favorite JoJo character is. I so know. They're the worst. Get out of here. <laughs> but we oh, discovered that. Fortnite. Fortnite. We discovered a little bit more about the, um, the kids and what they're interested in, and I'm gonna screw it up if I try and remember who was into the lab stuff and who was into the, well, the other I, stuff. Well, I wouldn't call Arcanus it was lab into... stuff. Um, it's it's more like enchanting is probably That's Saluna's artificing. interest, artificing yeah. almost. Um, they like what Karis does, and I'd say Saluna's probably closer to Karis's interest than Marculus's, and Marculus likes music. But he that still likes more. hanging out with his sister, so he's which okay is, with just doing that. Which is lovely. That's sweet. That is I genuinely sweet. I can't wait for the divergence. Oh dear. It's yeah. it's happening. That sounds yeah. terrifying. It's a thing I've been planning for a long time when it came to the twins. I've talked oh about Beardy with us a million times though. Yeah. I I'm frightened, so I think it's best we move on as soon as possible. Um so we dropped off the soul-sucky pieces. That's the official term, soul-sucky pieces, with Karis. For, and Karis was quite excited about these pieces, uh, quite Getting fully uh, confident. And yeah. making it. I'm excited. Thinks that they can pull it off, which is going to be, you know, fingers crossed. We might actually stand a chance with Karis's help. Um, and then we, uh, we... I don't actually remember if we spend the night there or not. We had some, some teleporting... No, we didn't. We didn't. We teleported away again. Yep. We were yes. going to, and then Levette remembered she could do other things. Yes. Uh, we teleported away. We surprised. We startled some people on the road, mm. which was wonderful. Didn't ask their names. Just Rude. Didn't, no. didn't ask Just their names. Appeared and freaked them out and then left. Uh, we may have made enemies for life there. They're going to be the big bads in, like, season no, 11. It, no, it's going... It, it, it's, it's like season 7's level that. 1 character. Oh. They're like, descendants. By by season eleven, they'd be so dead because like shit's gonna go forward after this. They can still be leeches. I think season eleven. In Good any case, we luck. um <laughs> we teleport out again. Uh, we get on the road. Um, and some of us have a good night's sleep, and some of us don't. That evening. What are you talking about? All of us had a good night's sleep. I didn't well, sleep. Well, you had. Some of us didn't sleep. Some of us had really nice centering dreams of Mellifera and just having mead with one's god, which must have been kind of cool. Zeno? Yeah, it's pretty good. What a good dream. <laughs> Throw him back with with the girl. Yep, yep. What what a delightful thing for Vera after such a traumatizing event of everyone right. finding out why you're a bad person and being okay with it, apparently. Yeah. Still kind of weird. But... It's fine. And then what were the other dreams? Um, Levet had a stress dream about maths, which I can appreciate. What was I love those math dreams. Petrafian. Oh. Field of flower, a field of uh, fruits and berries, and uh, just can eat by the fistful, and then off in the distance, bees. I, it's kind of ominous when you think about it. Just hear this no. like buzzing from the distance. Maybe, but we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> Maybe we should. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you. Hey, I woke up peaceful. I woke up happy. It's not. Well, it's. I'm not. Uh, congratulations not about to it everyone other than Curla, who got the yeah. winning number of having a nightmare. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Beardy. <laughs> Oh, no, uh, Lavette also had uh, well, number I guess the, a yeah. stress stream, but I don't think it was as bad as Curla's. No. Yeah, stress stream about maths versus the god that cursed you and, like, has 
got part of your sister's soul captive and has also like enslaved an entire race, multiple races of people underground. Yeah. As a player, I still I would rather have that than the math dreams, but that's just me and math. <laughs> Curla obviously had fucked them up. You know, I, I, I kind of feel bad about the math dream too. I'm, I might be there with you. I'm like, I'd rather have the dream where I get spooked by a giant mm -hmm. spider rather than yeah. Than stressing math. over math. As a player, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah giant player, spider. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take the giant spider, even if they scare the shit out of me. I'll, I'll take that over yep. a stress stream any day because at least I'll wake up. I'll wake yes. up from the like scary thing at least. And also, you have a story that, to tell. Uh, that's true. You can't be like, oh, I had such a nightmare. People are like, oh, what was it? Quadratic equations. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> X equals negative B. Oh, no, God. No, Just like, stem. Actual nightmares have some of the best fucking stories to tell people and be like, it was so weird. And everyone's like, whoa. Those are fun. Those are the best. But yeah, that witch hungers. Yeesh. Giant spider. Uh, that, that. Well, it led to a nice cuddle. A very random hug out of nowhere. <laughs> Which apparently Please. Riz thought was creepy. Well, they were just confused. Of, like, I've never seen you like Petravian before. <laughs> I mean, they don't dislike each other. They're on pretty good terms, and he's right there. I think, I think Curla has kind of a this big meaning, slightly slow, this well-meaning, slightly slow, big lummox guy who's like the heart of the party. He's like a big brother. Yeah, you got slightly slow. I mean, Petravian has like eleven in. <laughs> It's funny because he has like above, one average, above average. Like, still, look, so, average is like pretty good <laughs> for most people. Yeah. In that vulnerable moment, yeah, he was right there, and he, he's a hugger. You know, Petravian's a hugger. Yes. True. But I asked, did you do you want me to let go? That was the key point for me. Like, I mean, Carla should have asked before hugging you, really. But. Oh no! That that. Petravian no, is no, because of Curla's things, not because of Petravian. Oh, okay. Yes. <sighs> gotcha. But um, yeah. We At least we had. Fine with getting hugged. <laughs> At least there was tea. Really good tea. Thank you, Jiro, for the tea. Oh, mm. my tea's not good enough for you anymore. <laughs> Wasn't it still your tea? <sighs> it's not still anymore. Fucking my tea. <laughs> It, it was good enough, and then I've had Jiro tea, and I'm never going to be able to go back to it regular Riz tea. tea. Yeah, didn't Jiro just take so, the thing? No, that was that was Jiro's tea. Okay. It's the way okay. you prepare it. That was Jiro's tea, but he he tried to say that it was as close as he could get to Kentau style. He had been like looking around, okay. like my in my head canon for the guy is that ever since he got to the West, he's been like trying all the different kinds of teas and trying to find ones that are even like remotely as good as the ones from his homeland. It's like what I do with so he's, So he's kind of like found the right the, the right blend that is good enough. Nice. And that's what he was preparing that morning. I, I think that was a good analogy. I don't think it anyone heard it because Beardy was trying Doritos? to explain something. No, so I am on a mission to try to find a burrito that is as good as the burrito I had at this uh, like taco truck that went to mm -hmm. my work. And I, get, I would get it every Wednesday. And I've been on a mission to find one as good with the, like, hot sauce that they had. None of them are even close. I'm I can, sorry. I can good. kind of relate to that. <laughs> in that, obviously, I'm Anglo-American. I have lived in the States for a while. I've tried fish and chips all over the U.S. Even Epcot? <laughs> Epcot fish and chips is pretty was damn good. way too much food. I got... It, I love I remember seeing the photo. Chips. It looked good. But I've tried it at, like, this English pub in Dallas, this English pub in Colorado. So I'm on a mission to try and find American fish and chips we that even remotely any... resemble actual English fish and chips. We and... gotta take them to Epcot nope. now. <laughs> <laughs> I did get quite food yep. sick, though. Because of, like, food poisoning or something. Okay, that's because oh, I think I... you're allergic to seafood. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not allergic to fish. <laughs> I don't know. I do fine but with the, fish. It's what I have, like, crab, it seems. You're but like there shellfish. is... Shellfish. Yeah, okay. shellfish. There is a comfort value, though, in, in what you're talking about, Zeno, and, and mm. Verity with the tea. Yeah. You want to... You're trying to recapture that, that, mm. and I, that I, sense I, of home. I know those struggles very well because I feel the same way about... There's a kind of bratwurst that I had when I was in Germany that I have never found one anywhere else that is even close to being as good. Uh, there was a kind of pizza I had in New York City that I have never been able to find something that's been as good outside of New York City. 
like there's just there's certain foods that you find that you you realize that it's like the perfect expression of that food and you try to find some other place that even holds a candle candle to it and they don't and it's just kind of this depressing like search for something that is not mediocre right you're just like i just want to have that again i want to you know why can't someone just make it like that why can't i even why can't i remember the first time i played minecraft (laughs) <laughs> well yeah it's it's not even the food you want at that point it's the experience of having it for the first time as well mm. i don't know about yeah. that i just want the, i just want those bratwursts again oh my god i, I mean uh. my favorite pizza is an hour away from me i technically if i really felt we like should, it we should get that again yeah it is the i'm now yeah wondering if the pizza place i like is open and i can order from them tonight but anyway <laughs> we have we have nostalgic emotional tea with jiro <laughs> Pro- well, uh, close as we can get close as we can get to it. Thank you, Jiro. And your tea is fine, Riz. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your tea. It's so, lovely tea, Riz. I have a question, actually. Jiro's from Kintao and not Kwe? You that's, don't know that yet. Okay. That's what's been throwing so, me off, too. Yeah. That is not clear. Okay. It's not clear, because for folks who don't know, <clears throat> read the wiki, Kintao <laughs> is sort of analogous to, to China, and Kwe is an island off the coast of that part of Obador that is more analogous to Japan. And with Jiro... Wait, 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 wait. What's up, Beardy? Kind of. Beardy, what's kind up? Kind of. So, Kin- Kintao is, is analogous sort of to China, but it's it's more complicated than that. It's not just it's not just China. Uh, Kintao is... Like, it's an empire. It covers um, multiple cultural groups. So... Uh, it actually covers more than just like a fantasy version of China. There's other fantasy versions of countries that you've yet to, and I don't want to say what they are, but you got to get over there. But it's not just China. But it, it does like it does have like a fantastical element of like a mythological China. Uh, and then you're right when you said that Kwe is like a mythological Japan. That is that is accurate. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know the Kintao Empire is contains m- multitudes in that. It's not just fantasy china sorry i know that's quibbling and splitting hairs no not at all that makes me very curious to know what sorts of other um sort of cities and other sorts of environments we will encounter on that part of obador if you're saying that that part of the continent is gonna i'm now anticipating maybe running into elements that are south asian in influence that'll be kind of cool Mm -hmm. and and maybe others as well so yeah i'm i'm excited to for you guys to go there for a bit, see the see the sights, and realize that it's a pretty wild place. Exciting. <laughs> <sighs> but we uh, we split. We split the party, which is a safe thing to do when you're not in combat. I have learned this after 49, 50 episodes with um, Jiro and Riz and Curla heading towards the wall, and the, the rest A-team. of the party. Are we the A team? We are the A team. And the B team heading to the Holy City, which is not in the best of shape, as as was uh, sort of foreshadowed by what we learned from Mm -hmm. Siva, the sending spell. I beg your pardon, the message spell. Sending spell. And from what the lightning blades told us in um, in Hartenshan. So the B team. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Levette and... (sighs) <sighs> and Fira and Petravian. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Names. Don't worry, Head off to the Holy Vera. City to have some fun. So let's let's talk about what happened there. Vera, what, what happened? How was your money lending tour really? Good. Well, I, money I've been getting money tour. everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got dropping three ducats. Three points of rain. Uh, money dropping. Mm-hmm. No, just... Uh, all that Vera cares about is that no matter what happens, whether or not we fail or not, that her family is safe. And that's what she's making sure is going to happen. And probably that's even more uh, at the forefront of her mind, especially after all that has happened in the Pentress Estates. Mm-hmm. That So sort of doubling down or tripling down on that dedication to family that is so much at the core of who Vera is as a character. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then on top of that, then she wants the hive to also be helping the people that need it at this time, hmm. uh, because obviously with all the refugees that they're seeing, 
Uh, so it'll be hopefully they can do some some good there. Hey, it might actually get some more followers from that as well. Yeah, the ranks will be swelling, and the need for the hives and mellifera's uh, emphasis on family and giving and equality is definitely going to be needed. When the Holy City is as fubar as it is, when it's as full of refugees who uh, who the poor clerics of Eden are trying desperately to help and tirelessly and they don't have a huge amount of time for other considerations like enchanting some random bugger's <laughs> weapons. <laughs> They're really too will... busy for that kind of thing. And yeah, yet, that and yet. fucking asshole. How dare they? Right? Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, that was Okay, let me boil let me <laughs> let me explain my boil the, it, what baby, I what, boil it. Oh, yes, let me here boil we go. this. Yes, I wanted to just I, I knew the me mechanics wise. I could have just gone off to a what do you call it? To an enchant. But there's some flavoring to what I want to do that I that I wanted to go in, uh, do that with uh, with the Edenites and well, yeah I figured I, I feel like that was fairly o yeah. obvious to the rest of us that you wanted a specific Eden blessing and, and yeah kind of very like in game reasons I get that part yeah but I but and I effed up in being situationally aware so yes I'm an asshole. No, I, I don't. I think it worked so perfectly for Betravian, though. It worked <laughs> such a Betravian moment. It's you're the, not wrong. <laughs> it's seeing the tree and not the forest. It's like, okay, I've got to get this yes. weapon done. I've got to get this weapon blessed by Eden because we're doing this. Oh my god, why are there so many people in my way? <laughs> it's not. Can I it's speak to you, Andrew? <laughs> it's seven a.m. Everyone should be up and at him by now. Yeah, I just love that, like, you guys wake up and you're like, yeah, everything should be open by now. And I, like, looked at the clock and I was like, all right, guys, let's see what you why, do. Why are you saying guys? I, that was, that was just I mean, three, Petravian so. was convincing yeah. everyone that that was okay, and I I wasn't going to be a part it's of it. It's 7 a.m. Shit should be open by now. Oh, God. Days half or the days half done. Damo arigato, mister. Oh dear. But um, eventually, having been uh, having been advised by some of your Edenite brothers to perhaps pray for guidance, pray for and it, bitch. <laughs> recon yeah. Reconsider some of your actions and approach to the situation. How about, how about you pray, asshole? <laughs> it was said more nicely. Can you than believe that, that guy? This bitch comes in when we have a bunch of refugees. He's just like. Fix my hammer. Who does he think he is? Get out of here. Yeah. I'm All kind well of disappointed All that the channeling well didn't happen. I wanted to see like the random like channel, 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 channel. Like, oh no, walking through a la Spider Man 3. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're yeah. still starving, but now they're in great health, so they'll have longer to suffer. Wait, now that's taking me back to torturing that guy in. <laughs> wow. In... I, I'll put them out of their misery, uh, guys. It'll be fine. Oh my god, yeah. That's taking me back to the torturing. There is a, there is a running theme now with Petravian. And... Anyway. He means well, but boy is his execution rough. <laughs> but his torturing is on point. Is his on point. Is fantastic. <laughs> He's really good at hurting things. Just not able to complete the job. Oh, no, he does that all the time. We That's true, about... he does go to completion. Oh my lord. We joke about Vera hurting people to heal them, but no, it's sort of... It's, I guess it's the opposite for Petravian. It's uh, hurting people healing. when trying to heal them. Yeah, see, he doesn't hurt them to heal them, he heals them to hurt them. Right. <laughs> yeah. I love that you set up these dichotomies, these parallels, mm -hmm. Verity. That's, that's, that's you didn't nice. set that up. That's just these people. Yeah, no, that was all. It was all me. All me. 
I'm taking credit. <laughs> that, that plan from uh, episode plan one. Plan from the beginning. Yep. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. episode zero planning. That's Just why like I, I match these characters a good, together. Good guy. Episode zero, right? Episode zero. Had yep. that in mind mm-hmm. from the beginning. Definitely. I'm like, nope, Gro's totally going to do this and this and this and this and this. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Getting shot in the stomach definitely didn't change any aspect of things. Nope. Nope. What is wrong with didn't... you people? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Man, did I feel line. guilty that day. That was a good, good I, was, I was very upset after that session. <laughs> but um, eventually, uh, Petravian gets to stick his hammer in the ground. Uh, Vera worked with assisting her part of the hive in the Holy City with all the refugees that they're taking in. And Levette has invented the mobile home. The, the the trailer the trailers. RV yeah. trailers um, and also we all Fast try produced. to uh, remove Hold said hammer from ground hammer from the yeah, ground after. so so what I'm hoping with that I'm hoping that at some point once it's finished there's just gonna be a tree that sprouts up and be like oh there's a hammer that's, that's so what like I'm, pulls it straight that's what I'm from going the tree for. like a See, hammer tree here's my theory about what's gonna happen cause like I think we're going to be in Kintao when this thing finishes growing, right? I think the hammer is going to go into the fucking earth, and then, like, there's going to be a really Wild cool through. moment where Petravian's like, I got to do a thing, and it'll shoot up from the ground, and it'll grab it, like, Thor style and start wailing and shit. <laughs> Bam. Oh, I've cool. predicted everything. That I win. Now you have to cool. change it. <laughs> yeah, now that definitely can't happen. Exactly. I hope you're all happy. <laughs> God damn, that sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, and you can thank Kenny for when that doesn't actually come to pass because now I can't use it. Oh, Thanks, man. Kenny. Yep, I'm the worst. <laughs> Honestly, my theory is that that <clears throat> Petravian will never be able to use that hammer again. You'll you'll wait the however long it is, forty six days, to try and pull it out. Mm-hmm. You'll you'll go there. You'll try. You won't be able to. You'll have to make do with the hammer that you borrowed back from Reduvi. Oh, End of the season. End of the season. End of the season credits roll. Final post credit scene, Reduvi comes along, pulls out this brand new hammer, just cocks it over their shoulder and walks off. There's going to be a lot of post credit scenes. Uh, there's a lot of <laughs> post credit scenes. A lot of there, stingers, there actually, yeah. There actually will be a lot for this season. Oh, yeah. That's true. Okay. So, I'm just going to say a thing because of how different season one was produced in comparison to now because it's a live game. So before I got to like divvy up the outro with the post credit scenes, obviously we can't really do that the same way, but I still plan on having like end credits to the season, very similar to season one. But I think this one is gonna be all you for theatrical pieces, Beardy. So That's the plan. Unfortunately, it can't be like divvied up where it's like, oh, we show this person and then this person, and then you have like a scene, and then this person, and then this person, and then a the scene. Unfortunately, I can't do yeah. that as cinematically. So what I I'll probably, a... probably what I'll do from like a, a show running position, I'm gonna probably give you some ideas if you want to do even just like quick sketches of a thing. Okay. And then I'll just have you ready those as slides. I have so and many then, fucking things to make for this finale. And then they don't have to be like, they could just be seriously just be like doodles. They don't have to be anything special. They could be black and white, doodles, whatever. You know what doodles look like for me. <laughs> just make them real shitty. Just your initial sketch. No, but I refuse. They don't have to be full colored, shadowed, blended. Like you don't need to do any of that stuff. There don't need backgrounds. Just like, look, fine. <laughs> if you, I'll make it myself with paint. We no, with MS Paint. please don't yes. do that. Please, 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 please. No, we'll, yes. if, if, we'll splurge. We'll use GIMP. Uh, mm, mm. You're, not, you're right, you're right. I won't use Paint. I'll use Paint.net. Oh, Spirity, I, am, I, I will come to your house next weekend and choke you out. No more <laughs> season two. No more check, please. Fuck off. <laughs> They're going to choke you out. So I'm I, I have the plan basically to get some like slides and use each one of those to describe like show a picture of thing, explain what happens after the events of season two, kind of give you sort of like because of your actions here, this is now like this, and this is now like this, and this is now like this, and kind of give I you love like a Dragon Age. This is great. Well, that's not just Dragon Age. <laughs> that's know. a lot of a lot, a lot of RPGs. Media. 
Yeah, but that's a lot of the RPGs one that comes that to mind a... normally for mm -hmm. me. And so but in, anything where the whether you have a lot of choice for the party or for the player, you want to get have that kind of an ending where you can show like exactly what their actions did to the world. Ooh, I can and make I... it like charcoal style. Ooh, nice. that could be fun. Yeah, yeah. And basically, I, just, we... I want you guys to have that moment at the end of the season so you can kind of see how you've impacted the, the, the setting. Things Y'all didn't think for we positively. were? Oh. <laughs> so, we never got yeah. to flood the underworld. God. It's true. It would have explained the difference in the maps between Snake Eyes no. and Check, please. And I'm <laughs> so disappointed They're we didn't get to flood it. Completely is gonna go down with like a bunch of hive kin to like fuck up that place after campaign. I'm pretty sure. That'd be a very long time. Yeah. That happened. Uh, their bigger priority would be just protecting the surface because they're not gonna have. And what better way to protect to it than to completely city? You can tsunami. I can, but it doesn't work like an actual tsunami. Hmm. It's not like create water where it's just like it's it's a straight line. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hydro yeah, it's it's hydro it's pump <laughs> called tsunami. <laughs> it's super effective. Well, no, and you if just there's hydro a wall in the way, and if there's a it will stop. And if there's a mud kip in the way. <laughs> just does nothing. Anyway, oh. that mud kit just mud kit takes him in the face and takes like two damage and then laughs at you. So the hive and their various the members of the hive and their various places have all been provided for now with lots of monies. Um, a hammer has been planted that hopefully Petravian will be able to recover one way or the other. Uh, everyone at uh, Levette gets together with other followers. Of Voska to drop some blueprints. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone has a turn trying to remove this hammer from the ground. Um, including Archie. Including Archie, who is what acting the hell's going fucking on with Archie? sus AF right now. And Grim's like just okay with it. And like, <laughs> I'm like, this bitch in denial because that shit's fucking weird. Shout Yo, out turn him to Grim. Hi to Grim. And love to Grim, but like, we're we're scared about Archie. We're worried about something's Archie. wrong. And he screwed up Curla's name, like Bork. Like Curla. This has been going and on a Riz while. weren't there, so like I swear, if we would have heard it this time, we would have been like, let's stop and just talk about this for a second. Yeah. This is fucked. What was it that he said when he popped out? Like this unit is ready for orders. Yes. Or yeah. What the yeah. fuck? That's that's He's not. He's never done that before. I'm worried that he's getting like he. The next time he pops out, he's just gonna be like the beep bloops that he was in season one before he even became. Oh, ruining souls oh, yeah. enchantment. That's, Come back with one of those. Let me see. That's if I really still have concerning. That I fucking yeah. sound like a transformer. Oh darn it. Can yeah, I don't. Let's see. I know I have it in here somewhere. But can we can we check in on him? Can we make sure that he's doing I, okay? I think we're gonna have to like be proactive about that because like. Yeah. Yeah. We forget he's was, around because okay. usually we're not told when he's around. It's just assumed to be, and then it's like we forget because he's not he's not there. Technically, yeah, there was one spell I wanted to cast on them, but I don't think Levette would initiate it. Well, maybe you should find Archibald when Levette's not right next to him. Yeah. I want to see if my healing still works on him because it's always been kind of slightly hand waved well, that my healing. Well, it always from Marcus too. Okay, okay. Then that wouldn't be a good sort of shibboleth to say whether or not he's still. I'm just worried about him. Why are you all crying about some construct? <sighs> Have you no soul, Vera? <laughs> um, fuck you, Vera. <laughs> seriously, what is it with you? I, I, I even though you wouldn't say something like that. I mean, I mean seriously, I love soul. you, buddy, but fuck you. God it's damn, true. I'm trying my best here. Archie doesn't have a soul. Uh... Moira's recreation doesn't have a soul. Marcus's recreation doesn't have a soul. Archie has a soul. Oh yeah. Doesn't well he he. It was debatable at least the last time this came up when he was tested, uh, when he, when we asked when he would have been tested when we were on the island, the snow island, and the snake mm -hmm. lady was talking to him, and yeah. he you said out of character that he would have passed the test of spirit. So it was like he was getting one, but now you're saying he's... Oh, shit. 
Oh, he has, hmm. has a spirit. Doesn't mean he has a soul, necessarily. I mean, spirit is a vague term. Yeah. Like, you got and a it, lot of gumption. You got a lot of spirit yeah. in you. Yeah. Her name is Nefetus. Yeah. Thank and you. She, she's a monk, and she and punches a lot. And a serpentes. True. And she can punch so goddamn much. <laughs> I'm I'm just worried about Archie because I mean who doesn't have a soft spot for Archie? If anyone deserves to come out of this campaign like not only alive but also with like their innocence still intact, like their I, heart. I don't Archie. think innocence. It... I have only divulged my plans for Archie to one person on this planet. Chief. <laughs> and, and that's no, and that's that's Kenny. Oh, so, it's me. Oh, that yeah. part. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see if it actually happens. I'm a very good actor. <laughs> I'm a real boy. Now I've said like what I'm doing with Archie right now to multiple people. Mm -hmm. I know there, there was a drunken conversation at uh, a Rip. spy bar once that, <laughs> where I laid out my plan for that, but I didn't explain where I wanted to, to end. So we'll see how that goes. I love the Jungle Cruise. <laughs> it was the Jungle Cruise yeah. the line for the Jungle Cruise at, at Disney. <laughs> yeah. I laid out my plans See, for what I want to happen. Here's <sighs> the malicious thing I do to myself. Um, <laughs> I get information and I'm like, awesome. I will work towards this goal that you have. But I will also in turn forget it somehow. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it's still uh, there yeah. like if I need to access it. But it's like mm -hmm. I just kind of block it out and I'm just doing the thing I need to do. But look, every th I just don't I want to also make sure to make to, to mention that I'm not railroading any of that stuff like it's all no, has to be player to choice <laughs> it's all player it choice is, it is and uh we'll see how it goes because so far players don't typically choose what i want them to so we'll see <laughs> i don't know what you're uh -huh. talking about soul took the deal soul took the fucking deal yeah that was awesome <laughs> fingers crossed everything works out okay at least as far as archie is con you were asking what constituted a good ending like a satisfactory mm -hmm. ending as long as yeah. archie is okay everything's fine the world could we'll be destroyed see. as long as Archie's what, okay. What if, what if everyone's fine, but Archie dies? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> so fast. I'm fine with that, too, because the tragedy, the tragedy of that would be just mm -hmm. so heart-wrenching. I mean, what is, should I be, like, really, Shit. like, really just steal from something else and have his last words be Superman? I dies. mean, Grem would be happy about it. <laughs> I would, uh, that, that. I would be he's very said happy. multiple times yeah. he just wanted to make an Iron Giant. So. Yeah, so, so Archie's, Archie's very much meant to be Iron Giant. Yeah. Bless Archibald. Anyway, <laughs> ha, ha. while all this is going on with the B team, with the B team, the A team for some reason stopped for lunch. Team. Yeah, you stopped for lunch. Oh, I'm sorry, like Which I is... didn't know how to respond. That's weird. We... <laughs> I mean, otherwise it was going to be us like what, just like talking, shouting across from each other as we continued in the carriages. We needed some excuse to stop. And I food. mean, I, if anything, we could have just gone side by side because we were off-roading it. Yeah, um, I just felt weird having that kind of, having the conversations that we we're going to have. It, it's just kind of weird. It's like, oh, we're rushing to this place. Let's All stop right, for lunch. Let's stop and have, uh, we'll make some lunch. Have some Sonic curry. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 30-minute <laughs> break off. and Riding on a carriage as well, your ass kind of gets just, like, destroyed, bouncing mm -hmm. up and down. I don't care how good the traction is on that carriage now, post-project. Maybe I want still my not ass very to comfy. be destroyed. I know Hummel does. Does his hammer? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Mm. I have no response to that. <clears throat> <laughs> yes! I win! I got one. It's just really... It, it's really rude. Moving right along, we get down from having our asses destroyed on the carriages. Mm -hmm. And we have some Sonic curry. Mm -hmm. It's disgusting. <laughs> it wasn't. It was, it was very it was tasty. Bland. It was edible. It was, it was edible. It was, it was edible. It was, it was edible. That's it. That's the nicest thing you can say about it. Yeah, which isn't much. <laughs> no, it, it was a 10 on a, on a roll. It was edible. Oh, yeah. This reminded typical. me of... Typical. It reminded me of Souls cooking from season one. I didn't oh, have was... any parsley in there. Or... Souls cooking was far worse. It's true. I mean, they had some pretty yeah. decent roles for some of them. They just had shit wisdom as a character. <laughs> as we have learned for multiple reasons of actions. You tried Gold Star with the cooking, mm -hmm. but you know, blue curry, the, the, the color I think at least makes up for some of the lack of taste. It's yeah, the, the... poison. 
<laughs> I was going to say the novelty of it, you know? I guess. I'm also a person who has, like, food coloring allergies. So I'm like, yeah, this would have been fucking awful for not, me. Not to blue. <laughs> not to blue as far as we know, but as long as there's, like, a lot of food coloring, it isn't a really great day for me. But it did lead it to burns. a... Uh, it did lead to a nice moment where we uh, we learned a little bit more about the culture on the eastern side of the wall, the Kintao and Quay area. I and guess. How, I mean, have we encountered chopsticks before on this side of the wall? No. Anywhere we've dined? No. And given how isolationist there are, there aren't really any Kintao cuisine restaurants where one would encounter this style of eating either, are there? Pretty much, yeah. That's correct. Now, I, I Riz think... would have encountered chopsticks elsewhere or on other planets. Um, chopsticks are analogous, adjacent, yeah. Adjacent, yeah. So, something close enough, yeah. I did see two sticks on the ground once when I was exploring the woods. Does that count? <laughs> they yes. are just sticks, as he says. But they're nicely sanded down and, you know, made to purpose, and they were gifted, and that was a big deal I don't for actually Kerla. know if they were a gift. That's the thing. <laughs> I think he was just giving you them to, like, try them, because they were his, like, spare set. And you were was just he? like, thank you for the gift. And I'm like, I don't actually know if that was a gift. <laughs> he's probably he too nice. New ones. He's, he's too Dirty? nice to like. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said he, he already said he was going to make more, so it's fine. It's fine. Oh, okay. He's going to make <laughs> at least two more sets. <laughs> one that he one so he has another backup set, and he'll pro well, probably end up giving one to Riz. <laughs> But it, it did lead to some fun interaction and you guys trying to figure out how to use them. And it was honestly really funny that, like, Curla just did very bad with them. And then Riz picked them up and was, like, a natural getting a nat 20 on the roll. So. Nat 20 on the roll versus my two, I think, on the roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh, Well, I mean, it makes sense for Riz because they've used a bunch of different oh, utensils. Yeah. And they're just like, yeah, this is normal for me. Like, world mm -hmm. shit. Whatever. I scared Jiro, though, by being like, oh, yeah, I've seen something similar in a different world it was yeah, once was again like, oh no <laughs> no it was I'm it was the dice crazy people it was the dice backing things up perfectly because yeah riz would have would be able to use them perfectly from past experience and curl is not used to using like any utensils <laughs> at this point given how little they've eaten in the past and how it's all just been handheld rotten meat so it's like oh yeah, yeah you know just to spite beardy i think riz has metal sporks Oh no! <laughs> What's wrong with metal sporks? He has a th weird thing about metal sporks. Don't want to talk it's about it's, it. it's a long <laughs> thing, but he'll tell us later. <laughs> I don't want I to talk about it. <laughs> I did so really enjoy that. Sporks. We do actually own one. <laughs> oh, that's true because we have the one from uh, Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. So you're gonna have to live with us with a metal spork somewhere in the house at all times. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It'll I disappear. like sporks. <laughs> I have like three of I them. I would be very upset. That was an expensive spork. <laughs> it's so expensive we never three use sporks. it. <laughs> it was a good scene, though. That was good fun. Yeah. It truly was. I'll, I, I, mean, I will some... say that uh, when Riz said, they're, they're just sticks. Uh, Curl no, it, looked... I, I said it means nothing. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Curlo just looks so upset. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it, it means sticks. something to me. <laughs> Riz, Riz's point was just, we're just eating a meal and trying to get a place. Like, you don't have to be so dramatic is what Riz was pretty much saying. They were just like, which it's is, just food. Like, calm Which down. is absolutely fair comment and very and typical of Riz being pragmatic. But I think Carla was feeling emotional and vulnerable and it... <laughs> Well, kind of made things mean more <laughs> than they actually meant to them in that state. Who hasn't been there? Probably. <laughs> who, who hasn't so, cried over chopsticks before? Yes. <laughs> so you're the really weird one out. I guess so. Yeah. Actually, I ha I did. I, I was very upset about uh, my I, one of my children broke one of my metal chopsticks. That's impressive. Yeah. A metal chopstick and they broke it? That is impressive. At least okay. it wasn't a metal spork. <laughs> yeah, well. <sighs> Beardy's gonna Ooh. fucking destroy my I, I'm spork. excited to hear this metal spork story another Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it later. It the, so, um... so you also found out after talking with Jiro that uh, 
he said that the punishment for bringing foreigners or outsiders into Kentau is death. And yeah, that was a downer. Pretty intent that it's not necessarily the state that's going to like take him and punish him for that, but it's more like he might have to do that himself, and he mm-hmm. seems willing to do so. Yeah, and I'm not willing to let him. I don't yeah. think. Uh, should I go into my suggestion that I uh, talk to you about? Sure. So last night when we were talking about that uh, after game, uh, I suggested, well, all you need is uh, some kind of memory wipe spell. Uh, I don't know if Lesser uh, Wish can do that, but... Limited. Limited, yes. Yeah, I it think Limited Wish could do something like that for sure. Blank out a certain part of someone's memory. Be yeah. really fucked, but... It depends on how selfish Riz is feeling that day. Is it, is it for the actual greater good? Yeah, is it? To, have, to stop a meaningless death? I mean, I could bring him back. <laughs> but then he'll he just has kill to be again. willing. Uh, not if it's within the six seconds. He doesn't get a will save if he it's breath of life. He just keeps killing himself. Unless That's he's fine. like, ah, the loophole. Perfect. Ah, uh, yes, I served my time. I, I did the thing <laughs> I needed to do, and now I'm alive again. He just says, my yeah, watch is I, ended. I, and he's I done, died. Right? I, I served my sentence. Yeah. We'll see. I know how that feels. We'll so that was my suggestion to Kenny. But he says, That's... I already have that scroll with me. It's true. That involves talking to the Vera. Which, uh, that's and what yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for an eventual mm. uh, some, some more Riz and Vera conversation. I'm because, mm, It's going to be tasty. I am. <laughs> I love that you two enjoy doing the, the dramatic of falling course. out. <laughs> Unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the whole uh, point of thing. good storytelling. It's so good. I, I get that. What? I get that drama and conflict is, is crucial in storytelling. You have to have that. It's just... It's not always fun to play. What's up, Siri? I mean, uh, one thing that I, uh, that I forgot about was I smoothed over the, the gloves with Vera. That's did true. You? Tried <laughs> to smooth over the gloves well, with honestly, Vera. Honestly, he did a lot better. Like, he, he had good points for once, so it was, it was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. very happy about that. <laughs> that backhanded compliment. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> for once? <laughs> for once. It's the for once that He's does so much heavy lifting in that sentence. He's the one that went to a bunch of, like, a refugee camp and was like, fix my hammer, please. Well, yeah, because uh, he's like, oh, what if you're not here? I need to be able to help everyone. It's like, yeah. Mm, it's true. That's a good point. Yeah. That's... <laughs> I mean, a, bl- a, a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and again. Yeah, and then Raduvi smashes it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> the squirrel or the nut? Yes. <laughs> It's yeah. not on. It's not on the damn notes. But that sequence with trying to get that is that. Oh no, that's later it's on in the notes. Up. That's Sorry. later. Mm-hmm. Losing my mind. That's a little just, bit later. Not too much more later, sequence. but a little bit later. I love that sequence. But anyway, we'll talk about that. <sighs> yeah, going but, back to the fact that you hate drama. Apparently, I I I don't hate drama, and I understand the need for conflict between characters because you know conflict man versus man man versus nature man versus god blah da 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 it is quite odd that so i can't stand drama in like media like it makes me cringe to an excessive extent and i can't stand being mean in video games but i can i love it beyond everything else in dnd <laughs> <laughs> it's your catharsis, I think. Oh, I, I it's, think. Be- it's because there is a very certain drama that I can control that media mm-hmm. can't That's true. recreate. It's always mm. a different extent. It's like, oh, it's going too far. It's not enough. It's like, yeah, like in video games, it's like the worst thing you could possibly say. Or mm. you click the option and it's not what it said it was. And now you feel no. bad because it's really, really mean. Like, no, I all you did was you said you wanted to doubt them. And the next thing you know, you're like, you're the murderer. You did the thing. <laughs> and you're like, that's not what he said. That's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah. That's... And then your love interest is like, I didn't like that. Yeah. It's like, I oh, can't no. believe you would say that. And it's like faction destroyed. And you're like, fuck. Yeah. How could I, I am... predicted this without a walkthrough? <laughs> I'm discovering my comfort level as a player with how to handle situations when valid like differences of opinion and differences of philosophy emerge between two characters and how you navigate that and how long you let that kind of go on 
before you try and move things in a different direction and how that can affect you as a player in terms of your enjoyment and what you get out of the game. So I'm I'm learning all of that for the first time still. Because, um, yeah, of course, it's like it's sad because Riz, uh, Vera went from being like the one person that Riz really respected to probably the least respected in one arc. Well, that, that's sad, but it's also very cool, and we can work with that in different ways. And that's I think that's really awesome. And to Vera, that doesn't matter to them. What matters is what they're doing now. So. It's, it's not about bitch. <laughs> it's not about how popular she is. If no matter what, all that matters is that we get the job done. No. Hmm. But it was nice to finally touch base. God, I hate that phrase. It was nice to finally talk, kind of more heart to heart with Riz. That was more the conversation that I think Corella was trying to have several episodes ago that went completely pear shaped. Um, yeah. But it, they're both I mean, the tone was a lot better. Like it was a lot more patient with conversing so I don't know what Curla did but like it was a much better conversation well they're in much more they're both in much more vulnerable places I think at this point as well than they had been at that point um given I guess I, I mean I Riz has been going through recently Riz also had their good cry with like Levette so now they're they're in their process of accepting their faults, and they're more calm about it. Hmm. Um, it wasn't as fresh, because it's been like half a month since we were at the Pentress Estates. I believe that was a 16-day journey. Mm-hmm. You're about, yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, it's been a, it's been a several days since that, and, and they're processing it. You know, they're cooling down. They're still very upset at Vera. <laughs> Which they have talked about to two of the party members. That's correct. I have, no, you've also talked to it to Petravian as well, right? They have at least elicited a notion that they're fucking pissed. <laughs> no, they've also now told two party members that they killed people. That's true. That's Recently. True. Which uh, one was, I think Levette was like, I understand. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and Curl is the more like, oh, that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It is. No, completely. <laughs> Which one of us hasn't killed 15 people at a time? Somebody killed thousands. You can't really name names here. Right. I mean, we're not here to throw stones. Of course not. <clears throat> no. It was... no. We're here to throw bees. <laughs> it was definitely a struggle in that moment for Curla to kind of try and figure out how they felt about that. That was a test, technically, from Riz. I'll be honest. Yeah, I, I sensed as much. <laughs> as a player, see, I mean. See if you pass the murder Yeah, vibe well, check. it's not just that. It's like, all right, like, I've done a bad thing that I feel bad about, but, like, are you gonna claim you're I mean, you actually said, judge me. Than, yeah. You know? Oh, and yeah. I mean, no, Curla's not, Curla knows they're not a better person. They, and as I think they kind of said, they don't know if this does mean that they shouldn't care about you and like you, but they still do, and they're having to deal with that. Mm-hmm. It's it's challenging. Neither of us are easy characters to be friends with, <laughs> given but all the shit that we've done. I find it fascinating that people like Riz, like when I talk to people who watch our show and they're like, oh, I love Riz. I'm like, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, thanks. I did like that... Uh... Curla left out Lavette out of people who haven't done because really Lavette has done the least bad. I feel of I the mean, party that we know of. I mean, True. she technically did start that fire in yeah, the normal. But she doesn't know that. Well, people are bad. <laughs> well, yeah, but honestly, did Curla. More stuff. I think I think Curla has done the least bad. That's true. Yeah. That sounds about yeah. yeah. Yeah, they blame themselves the most. Yeah, Curla like lives in the self like self loathing of it, of the whole thing, but but honestly, like Curla's actions, which weren't even their fault, resulted in the death of a single innocent person, right? So Curla's count is one. <laughs> like that low, is low worlds better, worlds better than the rest of the party. Mm-hmm. 
You're not um, going to be completing the battle pass with that kind of record. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to just make some guesses here and and this is just me just spitballing. So feel free to correct me if you think that these are inaccurate, but I'm just going to give some numbers for each person. Curla, 1. Uh, Travian I would say high 20s, low 30s. Uh, Levette Actually, probably after that is going to be... Ooh, it's kind of a toss-up between Levette and Riz. Just because I've had a lot of time of existing. Who Riz knows? has had a lot of time, and that's why it's hard to guess. Uh, but I also get that the 15 was probably like a very unusual thing for Riz to do. Uh, yeah, normally like it would just be like, almost. you know, once in a while, make a sacrifice to a god so kind of thing. Whatever. I'm going to say, based on time, Riz is probably next at about 80 and then Levette is probably low hundreds, maybe two to three hundred. I feel like Petravian should be higher just for being in the war, right? Like We're talking about innocent kills here. Oh, not, okay. oh, 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 yeah, like, yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Got like, it. Like, not like battlefield kills. Like, that's that's different. They have excuses for that. Well, because weren't yeah. they like raiding the reasons, not excuses? Kind of innocent uh, villages. I mean, that's that's what Petravian what Screwy sees. said. The Petravian's backstory was, yeah, <laughs> that's how Petravian felt about it. But whether that was the actual well, truth, the halflings of the definitely politics. deserved it. <laughs> I mean, that's look. Mm. I'm not saying one or the other. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes. Look, I know what they do in the future. It's yeah, great. I know what it they've is done. He's a great help. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's all moving toward them worshiping the all-loving. Asmodeus. Mephistopheles. No. Mephistopheles, sorry. Yeah, so, so what did you say? Uh, so Asmodeus Levet is stupid. Did, well, that was... Uh, I would say low hundreds, probably like 250, 300. Maybe. That was pretty nasty fire. And then uh, yeah. Vera is Thousands. just, you know, queen of the mountain there. Yeah, probably that 1,200 is my guess for Vera. No one's without sin. Blood on our hands. <laughs> says the one. <laughs> says the one. I mean, should I like? Like I, the I biggest pity party. <laughs> I have legitimately thought: should I take Curla in an evil direction? Should I make them snap and be more murderous? But that seems really cheap. It would get that your was, that was back fast. It sure. That was well, earlier in the you, season that I was considering that potential. You also route. right, but you also don't know what's going to happen after this conversation. It's my. It's gonna happen at the beginning of next session. That is God, true. You're sitting next to me. <laughs> Which I just remembered one more uh, thing that was said this session from Curlo, which was what, what was it? Uh, something like I can't have another person like die for me or something like that. Yeah, when Jiro's like, yeah, I'm gonna die after like what we've what I what I'm sharing with you and where I'm taking you. Just very simple about it. But I, I forget what the exact phrasing was, but it was like. I'm, I'm like I'm tired of people dying for me. Yeah. yeah. How how often has this happened for Curla? Again, I think their mind went right to their sister because that's the place they were in after that dream from that witch hunger. So no, it hasn't happened all that often. But their sister was their entire world, so it yeah. feels like mm -hmm. their entire world has died because of or for them. Now, yeah objectively that's blowing it completely out of proportion but this is just me trying to play the character well, yeah. sure mm -hmm. I was just wondering I was, you know, I was like I don't remember anyone who actually like died like in our group in that for for any of us really I portray we just keeps on dying in random circumstances <laughs> <laughs> no, well yeah there is oh, that Travian but, I mean, died again <laughs> but on the whole I was I was I mean how do you how did you feel about how that conversation went Kenny Oh, like the conversation? Because sort of been... um, yeah. that was a self-talk that Zeno was bringing up. Um, the conversation I thought was really good. I really liked that Curla apologized because honestly that was a huge thing for Riz because at that point, yeah, Riz was like, no, I don't think I'm like at the most fault in this relationship. Like they had... I'm curious whether or not she feels that she, uh, they feel that they're at any fault in the dynamic, but um, I mean, 
they understand they made you upset and they're like, well, I was trying to do something good. Um, oh, well, I won't try to do that thing again. And that's kind of where a lot of this started was Riz was mm. trying to do something good and it, it backfired. And they're like, all right, I won't do that um, problem solve, that equation again. Because they, they mm. see things as paths. And they're like, oh, this is the outcome that I'm predicting that this one will have. Stuff like that. Um, like wanting to show Duru that Curla was like a person person and not this monster that ate her, at, ate their little sister kind of thing. You know, stuff like that. Um, so they didn't apologize because they're like, oh, well, I still think there might be a good outcome to this. So I don't feel bad about that. And they were kind of proven right. So they were probably more reserved about it and being like, yeah, okay. Um, so it, it was a lot of built up stuff and feeling just very attacked, like past that point whenever there were conversations. So I, I guess like the only blame Riz has is that they, they did their equation wrong that caused you to notice it in such a way that started the fight. But other than that, Riz, no, they're probably not a lot of blame for self Riz at that point. But they're trying to be better, as they said during the conversation. Um, which uh, Grum told me he was afraid that Riz was getting ready to leave the party at the end of session, which I thought was hilarious because I did consider that at some point. What, leaving the party in this episode? No, just completely at some point during the season, I was like, I don't think Riz fits in the group anymore. It might be better for me to switch a character out. Hmm. I had considered it because sometimes if a dynamic isn't working, you need to add a different equation in. So I considered maybe having Riz leave on their own journey and just accepting it as is and bringing someone else in. Interesting. Mm -hmm. When When was this? If like you don't mind saying. 10 episodes ago, I was considering it, I think. Interesting. Well, I'm personally glad that you didn't. I'm glad that. Yeah, I'm told other to people are glad, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I could have done that, because that could have been interesting. No, well, I mean, if, as long as you're still enjoying playing the character. I'm enjoying playing Riz far more than I did at the beginning of the season, I'll be honest. There I mean, we go. That was also, like, the point of Riz, right? That's true. I. I was given a lot of notes that Soul took up a lot of screen time in season one, and I was trying to give other people their time. And it was really boring. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really fucking boring to be Riz in the beginning. In any case, I'm glad that the conversation happened the way it happened, and I'm glad that they're now on a different trajectory. Mm -hmm. Because that... I, I don't think things will ever be as close as when they first met, but it's a lot better no. now. No, I, I don't anticipate that either, and that's realistic. Mm -hmm. That's the way that relationships change over time, and they have a very different understanding of each other than they did at the beginning, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, but it's a better trajectory, and it's a more fun trajectory to play for me as a player, and hopefully for you as a player as well. I you was have fine other... with the drama. <laughs> well, okay, fine. I wasn't. <laughs> I really, really I, wasn't. It had like, gone way too fucking I, long, I am, and it was not fun at all. I am very all. mentally separate from Riz as a person. Like, yeah, but you, yeah, you have that advantage, though, of, of, of having played many characters at this point. I'm still like, I've put way too much of myself into into Kenny, into Riz, into Curla, and it's hard to separate sometimes, and having them be pissed off with their, the person they're closest to in the game is... It wasn't fun after a while, so I'm glad that we're, we're shifting that. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it, it it really, at least from, like, a character standpoint, it really did have to be Curla to make that step. So I'm really glad that you did, because Riz wouldn't have. So I think that was a really good move on your end to get that going. Also, you said that you thought only, uh, that Curla was only interested in being friends with Vera. At that point, yeah. Cause Which was bizarre to me. <laughs> well, Curla had been spending a lot of time with Vera, it seemed. Like, they were the ones always having secret conversations with each other about Vera's things and stuff like that. And so Two. <laughs> <laughs> Two. 
two conversations. Sure, there's three. Pollyanna, and there's like I think there's been three at this point. But even okay, still, three, it was a lot of like three. really important information kind of conversations where it was like, huh, okay, I don't know what why. I don't know if it's like Christian guilt to like <laughs> feeling bad about spilling wine at the church that you want to hang out with Vera or something else, but yeah. Spilling? No, sus. that was deliberate fucking pouring. But <clears throat> I still feel guilt that's, about it. That's water under the bridge. Do I? I hadn't even I thought mean, about Kurla it. I brings it up months. enough, I feel like. I haven't brought it up in like 20 episodes. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that you good wine? Trust me on that. I haven't brought it up in ages. It was, it was the best wine, wine that um, Sirwin had. <laughs> yeah. I made a point of getting him a replacement bottle, but that was in like. Bur we haven't that seen him since. Codre, and we haven't seen him since. He might be dead right now, which I can take for myself. Ah, uh, I'll never make it up to him. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I mean, shame. The town of Edge is a memory Fought. at this point. <laughs> it is long gone. But they also but, um, evacuated right away, so. I did like from the conversation that Riz is still working on trying to help Kurla with the... Because I had anticipated, or rather I think Kurla had maybe thought that you'd just given up on them when it came to that. Oh, they were and still going wanted... attempt to help you. It's just they were like, I don't think you were actually going to take the help, but I'm still going to develop my spells. Well, they also wanted to emphasize that they don't want to be friends with you just because of the stuff that you do to help them. Which was really nice, because that, that was a vibe in uh, Fushdorf last time. That's, that's true, because yeah. uh, at one point it was said, uh, was I, I appreciate you helping me, mm -hmm. was one of the, the lines from that one, if I recall. Yeah, that didn't come across quite the way they <laughs> wanted it to. That conversation backfired in many ways. <laughs> Humans are... Mortals are weird. Yes. But regardless, it was a good conversation. It was a good scene. I enjoyed doing that. So thank you for that, Kenny. And I'm glad that things are in a different direction now between the two of them. <sighs> but swimming back to the B team, yes. Vera, after Flying doing back. a Deadlands prep speech... Gets her fucking mask finally! That's true, I get my second mask, the Mask of Honeyed Words, which is uh, oddly terrifying. Extremely. Mm -hmm. I, I'm Extremely very happy terrifying. with yeah, the artwork but... on that. Yeah, so, what Vera is uh, basically going to probably do with Hauntingly it is have beautiful. two masks like, on the side, and it's going to basically be able to just flop through them, whatever they need to have done. So, with... so I have a question. Yes. Uh, so you've you've just described Malifra uh, as being a, like a three-faced god or three-faceted yes. god. Uh, is your intent to make a third mask? No, uh, because the third would be what Vera is already, which is the neutral, okay. uh, because uh... it represents the uh, Hornet, Wasp, and uh, Bee, which mm -hmm. being evil, neutral, and good. Okay. Was there anything you wanted to say about your um, speech about prepping for oh. the Deadlands and, like, just in case y'all had to leave? Oh, I mean, I, I thought it went pretty well. I don't know. I thought it went great. Yeah? Yeah, totally. Yeah, You're I... a great leader as Vera, apparently. Aww. Thank you. You bitch. <laughs> no, because I, I didn't know if I was going to just go, uh, just say, oh, yeah, and then she says this, and then I was like, yeah, no, I'll, I'll try to, to give the speech as if. Like in, in no, person. I thought you did really well. I'm glad you actually did it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You know, like, once again, uh, we're going to just mobilize if we need to. Yeah, I was surprised you guys could actually move the font. I wasn't sure if... I don't know if, like, we could normally, but since Melifero was there, there's no way I feel like it. she wouldn't be able to. That's her fucking magic. <laughs> yeah, I have, um... An interesting plan for that. Alright. And then, at the same time, Petravian returns to Reduvi to ask for the hammer back, which was not going so successfully as Reduvi said, You gave it to me, what the fuck, my dude? Yeah. And yeah, how'd that work out for you, man? Yeah, how, Brother how Petra, you said that was mine. <laughs> Yeah, I <laughs> know I did. And it okay. is yours, and you could tell me no. But I, I, yeah, yeah. And then. I said some things some I'm not proud of. 
gaslight girl boss gatekeep. Let's go, Petravian. <laughs> it was um, it was an interesting strategy of emotional manipulation that you attempted, and it was something to the effect of, you know, I'll, I'll go and talk to those kids down the, the neighbor kids. Maybe they'll yeah. they'll lend me their mm -hmm, hammers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Is that mm -hmm. what's the what's the genesis of that particular technique? Does it that work? That is from my growing up. That is from that. Did, did I it don't... work? Oh, yes, numerous times. And how do you times. feel about being used on like that? Not good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not good. And the fact Let's that I that. utilized that, <laughs> um, even in joking, I, f I feel guilty. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow. Good did the world is real to did you. I then. Have, did, yeah. did I have like, did I have a... Uh, a <laughs> It's just like, you look back, and it's like, huh, wow, um, that was pretty shitty. What? And, and you start thinking of the, the, that kind of rap, of all the things that your own, that you were, your parents utilized to not ensure compliance, but to try to get you to do what they want you to do. Emotional manipulation. By another yeah. hand, you're also uh, like arguing against a, a being that has very low understanding and intellect. Also, she's 20 years old-ish. But yeah, that the, doesn't mean that she's... She, like, she's mentally like six, but like she's <laughs> she's almost as old, like been on this world as long as Vera. That's true. The, it's still uh, mentally, it's 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 all about the mental aspect. It's not it, age true. is only in it, it, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, goblins are adults at five years old. It fucks me up as I think about it. I think about it way too often. <laughs> There's a a lovely oh, line from a Philip Larkin poem, which is, "They fuck you up, your mum and dad. They may not mean to, but they do. They fill you with the faults they had and add some extra just for you." That's the line that comes to mind when wow. stuff like that. When, yeah, when stuff like that comes up, when you find yourself doing the stuff that your parents did, even if it's just in in game as a paladin character to Reduvi, that's. Oh dear, I've broken yeah. screwy. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. okay, buddy? That's, um, you okay, man? Uh, yeah, just, just. That was a moment there. Just, yeah, no, brain just kind of like, and then you come back. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. um. I, I feel guilty trying you doing that, and it, it was it was like half jest, half not. But yeah, folks, don't do that. Don't 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 emotionally manipulate your kids. That's just assholeish. It was real though. It came from a real place, and that's kind of what made it really an interesting beat for Petravian, even though it was half joking and half like. Half oh, silly. It was still just a. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a very real moment. I I I liked that moment. It, it's have, just. No one else has I, weapons. I'm the only one. I mean, she mm -hmm. and it also kind of shows how much she treasures that hammer, which is very very sweet. Like it's I'm, important to her. She hasn't just like left it to to rust somewhere. Okay, She's, like, part of me was thinking that it was just like. It. Yeah, part of me was thinking is it was just sitting in a bin. With like balls and tennis rackets, like ah uh, yes, the fantasy it's tennis. It's a magical hammer. Like Ruduvi is using that always to break to kill stuff. squirrels. Yeah, uh, I kill squirrels to break John. It's also amazing. Squirrels. Imagine the amount of stealth needed from Ruduvi to sneak up on this squirrel to be in range to obliterate it to high heaven. Mm -hmm. We were um, we were talking about innocent body counts earlier. What's Reduvi's like innocent body count at this innocent point? Innocent squirrel, squirrel body squirrels count. count? Yeah, count. squirrels and trees count. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Trees count too. Trees oh, count. No. Uh oh. Probably the low dozens. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love that Reduvi's beating me on the innocent body count. <laughs> I mean, that's where you were also changing the definition to include trees. So. Well, it's squirrels then. One. Just squirrels. Just the, just, just the, the one. one okay. Squirrel. It's mostly trees. Bless her. There's there's gonna be eons from now where there's these trees that have like a bark spot missing on them, and people are like, ah, oh, this is where like deer would like <laughs> rub their antlers, and it's just like, nah, it's just this bitch kid who just kept hitting them. 
I love that she's it's learning to joust. forest gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> but now she doesn't have a hammer. Yeah. yeah. But she got a silver tip spear. That's true. I'm excited. Now, is that the silver tip spear from when you all were hunting Warren in season one? Yes. Nice. Now I got two of them. Ah, okay. So you've got the other one still. It's also yeah. uh, the one that I used to impale a uh, uh, one of the mummy uh, snakes. That's true. Hell yeah. It's a good moment. You've been using them as throwing javelins for a while. Yeah, because Vera is very strong. And because I bought the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> and Beardy was really chill about yeah, it. Yeah, I appreciate that. Is there a mechanical distinction then between a spear and a javelin? Yes. yes. Oh, very much so. Are yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. But javelins are for throwing. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah spear, you double thrust, javelin is overhand one. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It would be the same in Fire Emblem. And it, it depends on what, what type of combat style you're going for, because spears historically have been used both underhanded and overhanded depending on your cultural background uh, Greek style spear fighting was always overhand with a 9 foot long spear unless you were from uh, Sparta in which case it was an 11 foot long spear they were dick sizing they were they're like oh everyone else is using a 9 foot spear ours are going to be 11 <laughs> yeah. yep it was Spartan for you right there pretty much mm -hmm. good gracious but with all their objectives complete, I guess, with Petravian stealing a hammer from a child, um, <laughs> I mean, asking for it, uh, the party I asked, it. and they and they gave. The party finally got back together and continued on their way to Kintao, uh, where Curla, at the very end of the session, sat next to Riz to communicate with that which hungers without telling Riz that that was happening, but simply just kind of looked at them, which was not helpful. <laughs> and I really, really hope, really want them to say, Pravian says, oh yeah, fuck. I feel like that won't help. That won't <laughs> that yeah. help the situation. What that you, won't what, help, why, why but why as a- Why would Petravian come up in this conversation? They won't, it won't, what? but part of me as a player, wants that to happen i want to see i i, I just i know they're not gonna care. i know that they're not that god what, is not gonna care but it's just you, like scary what do you yeah. think that the, the this conversation between curla and that which hungers is meant to accomplish me personally yeah oh it's it's all about their it's Acceptance of themselves? I don't Why know. would I seek I, I, I for that know. from the god I that I hate and despise with all know. of my being? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's acceptance of there themselves. It <laughs> acceptance of themselves and hatred of them. And I... That's... You've killed Kenny. <laughs> you bastard. You bastard. <laughs> this is the gardener all over again. <laughs> He did it! He did it again, guys! <laughs> oh my god! Should, should no, go? I, I, should we I get what you. To him what's going no, no, on? I get, I get what you were saying, Scurry. And honestly, yes, I think there is the possibility that Curla will gain some self-acceptance in that they have a conversation where they can distance themselves and feel more independent from this god. Yes. Then that Thank is a po that's... potential outcome, but that's not the main goal of the conversation. Oh. So, I guess we'll find out next time, won't we, kids? Hey, well, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not anticipating getting through, honestly. I don't think it's going to be as easy as just closing my I eyes and know. visualizing we, the we symbol. We were left on a cliffhanger. I can't help but feel like you will get through. And I mean, you haven't tried yet. That yeah, I re realize Curla's never attempted this before, so that which hungers might be a very responsive god. And also, that which hungers is quite a powerful uh, primal being. and The most powerful primal left, yeah. yeah. Mellifera can I'm... contact people when they pray for Petravian. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's not going to be that easy. I think I'm going to have to work a little bit harder to get in touch with them. So but... The cell phone uh, signal is terrible down yeah, there. Yeah, terrible down yeah. there. I think I have to boost it a little bit more. Maybe we'll with... 5G. I mean, God knows what it's going to expect that... of me. Yeah, that Linorm knocked over one of the 5G towers. A 
five G ray, one of the one of the holders main ray attacks. I I mean I can I'm I'm anticipating at the very least I'm gonna have to break my rule about not eating things. So we'll see. Hey eat We are sitting next to me. Don't say uh, that to me. Eat bad guys. That's terrifying. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat Riz, Jesus. Yeah, but I don't know what that means. Don't be near me when you contact the creepy one. <laughs> Why? Up the, up the would fun would, would spot, Riz though. be interested in meeting the creepy one? No, I've already seen it. But I mean, what did I say to Riz? That it's time I had a word with someone? Yeah, that was oh. a little bit cryptic. Both of your characters have seen that which hungers. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've literally looked up while we were underground and been like, ah, a terrifying spider. I want to die. <laughs> I get to bust out the fun voice mod, though. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. I'm look. I'm if and when I do get through, I'm looking forward to that conversation. I mean, I'm terrified, but I'm. That's a good thing. I can use that. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Warn me about It'll these things. <laughs> well, it's gonna be absolutely well, fine. We'll find out in about two weeks. That's yes. true. We have a week Ooh, off next yeah. week, so you guys yep. are going to have to wait a little bit. Next sesh is going to be September 3rd. No, the, no that's... The Memorial the, Day is in, September, like, September. May. Is it... No. Labor, Labor Day is the 5th. Labor Day. Yeah. Okay. So it's the Anyways. weekend of... It's Labor Day weekend. It's Labor Day. There we go. But yeah. thank you all very much for your rolling with us. We are glad you came by, and mm -hmm. yes. we hope you have an excellent day. We'll see you in a couple weeks for the next episode of Episode 50 of Check, Please, Hell Season yeah. 2. See Thanks you guys. Bye. Bye.